It is said that England is the rainiest country in the world. But can you imagine the rainiest area in the rainiest country? This area is called Lake District, or simply the lakes. But first of all, we will tell you something about its history and development. A long, long time ago, there was a period of time which we call Ice Age. No, don't think of the movie now. So, the big glaciers of the last glacial period formed huge mountains and deep valleys with an incredible amount of lakes. And the landscape still looks like this today. In order to protect the magnificent scenery, the lakes were named a national park. Actually, there is just one lake that bears the name lake. It's the Bassenwade Lake. The others all sound pretty similar. For example, Coniston Water, Crummock Water, Derwent Water, Annadale Water, Estwade Water, Horse Water, Hayes Water, Lowe's Water, Rydal Water, Alswater, Water and West Water. But surely, there are also other creative names like Thermale, Windermere, Buttermere, well, you did get an impression of it now. Nowadays, the lakes are a rural area. The only two well-known, rather small towns are Keswick and Ambleside. But the district is specialized in certain specific economic branches. In the following pictures, you are going to learn about the most relevant factors of the economy in Lake District. As you could see, sheep are very important for the farmers there. They use them for almost everything. The wool, the milk, the meat and so on. Furthermore, tourism has been increasing for several decades now, mostly because of activities that are popular in the Lake District, like hiking, biking, horseback riding, canoeing, fishing, climbing. Especially the people from the cities enjoy the silence and the unique scenery there which seems to be untouched, for example because of the fascinating woods. Of course, it is not totally untouched, as the dry stone walls all around the landscape show. Those walls were erected, guess what, because of the sheep. Apart from the dry stone walls, there is a far bigger wall, the so-called Hadrian's Wall. It was built by the Romans in order to protect their empire from the northern savages. Another attraction is the Coslerick Stone Circle. You can compare it to Stonehenge in southern England, although it is not as huge. Most likely it was constructed in the Bronze Age. After years of research on a purpose of the stone circle, there was nothing found. Finally, here's one last task for you to test if you remember the most important factor of the economy. Find the odd one out. Have you spotted it yet? Very good. Now you're prepared for life. Yeehaw! Bye!